how to crochet the fairy shell stitch. For this stitch, you'll need a crochet hook and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, Webs, for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Northampton yarn from their Valley Yarns line in the color Sage Heather. To begin this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques. Chain stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, and shell stitch, which is a special abbreviation we will cover in this tutorial. To begin this stitch, you'll need to create a foundation chain in multiples of 6 plus 4. Row 1. Beginning on the right side of our work, we are going to do a single crochet into the fourth chain from our hook. Then we are going to start our repeat by skipping two chains and doing a shell into the next chain. So the shell is going to consist of two double crochets into the same stitch. Then we're going to chain two and we'll do two more double crochets into that same stitch. All right, now we are going to skip two more chains and we will do a single crochet into the next chain. Then we're going to chain three and single crochet into that same stitch again. Oops, we split the stitch there. So, or split the yarn. Okay, so now we're gonna repeat this all the way across until we reach the last six chains in our row. Now when we reach the last six chains in our row, we're gonna skip two chains and we're gonna do a shell into the next chain. So two double crochets and then a chain two and two more double crochets. All right, then we are going to skip two chains and we will do a single crochet into the last chain. Then we will chain one and we'll do a half double crochet into the same last chain. All right, then we're gonna turn our work. Row two, we're gonna begin by chaining three. This is gonna count as a double crochet then we'll do two double crochets into the half double crochet. That's the one right below our chain that we just made. Okay. Next, we're going to start our repeat by doing a single crochet into the next two chain space. That's this over here. Then we'll chain three and we'll do another single crochet into that two chain space. Then we're gonna do a shell into the next three chain space. That's this one right here. So two double crochets. And we're going to chain two. And two more double crochets. Into that same stitch. And we're going to repeat this sequence all the way across until we reach the last two chain space in our row. Now when we reach the last two chain space in our row, we are going to do a single crochet and then a chain three into that space. Then we'll do another single crochet into that same space. And then we're gonna do three double crochets into the third chain of our turn chain. So we can see we've got 
one, two, three here. We're gonna go into this one right here with the double crochet. So that's one, two, and three. Okay, then we'll turn our work. Row three, we're gonna begin by chaining three. This is gonna count as a half double crochet and a chain one. Then we're gonna do a single crochet into the first double crochet, that's this one, right below our chain there. Okay. Now we're gonna start a repeat by doing a shell into the next three chain space, that's this right here. So remember two double crochets first. Then a chain two and another two double crochets. All right, now we're going to do a single crochet into the next two chain space. That's this right here. And we'll chain three. And another single crochet into that two chain space. And we're going to repeat this all the way across to the last two chain space in the row. And when we reach the last two chain space in our row, we'll finish up our repeat by ch single crocheting and then chain three and single crochet again. Then we're going to work a shell into the last three chain space. And chain two. Two more double crochets into that same space. And we're going to finish up our row by doing a single crochet into the top of our turn chain. That's this one right here. Then we will chain one and we'll do a half double crochet into that same stitch. Then we're going to turn our work. So we're going to repeat rows two and three until we reach our desired length. And that's a crochet, the fairy shell stitch. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Want more news today? Join our VIP email list to get every stitch directly to your inbox. Sign up today at newsitchaday.com slash VIP.